Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review the difference between templates and workspace and which is the best use for each of them. On the left side we have Ninja Trader 7. This is the control center and this is a chart of Dow Jones. On the right we have Ninja Trader 8, the control center and also a chart. On this case it is crude oil. And let, let's say that we have a very complex set of indicators. So we have a lot of indicators and each one with a particular configuration. And we want to save this for us or to copy the, the setup on another computer or to share with a friend. The best way to do that is by sharing or by saving a template. To save a template we right click the chart, click on templates and click on save as. We choose any name and we create a file that contains the list of all the indicators and the configuration for each of the indicators. This file does not contain info for the instrument or the time frame. It only contains the information of all the indicators and the configuration of each one. On NinjaTrader 8, this is the same. We can right click, templates, and we can click on load or save as. So it is almost the same. Those files are in the folder my documents ninja trader 7 templates chart in and it is one of those xml files for ninja trader 8 it is the same inside documents ninja trader 8 templates chart and we can copy those files and share with another computer. The, we have to take into account that only the indicators and settings are copied, not the instrument, neither the time frame. And also the strategies that the chart has applied are not copied. An another way is to save a workspace. A workspace we can see on the Ninja Trader 7 on the menu file workspace. We can see here we have only one. And on the Ninja Trader 8, if we click on workspace, we can see that we have two workspaces. One with a square in color green at the top. This is the one that we are looking now. And another in color gray. This workspace, if we click on it, we can watch. It is an empty workspace. All, all the workspace that had a mark on this uh, part of the window are loaded. So if we load another workspace, we can see that on this example we get this warning. The workspace save all the windows and their relative position on the computer they were saved. So if you save a workspace on a computer with uh, more than one monitor, 
then all that info is copied also. So if the if the file is loaded on another computer where the configuration is not the same, you get this warning telling you that some of the windows are not going to be visible. So if you click on yes, it will move all those windows into your current monitor. So this is very useful because this feature is not present on Ninja Trader 7. If you load a workspace that was created on a computer with more monitors or located on different positions, then you will get windows that you cannot see neither move or at least it is not easy to move. Something else about the workspace is that you can have more than, wor more than one workspace loaded at the same time. The visible workspace is the one with the green uh, box at the top. All the others are loaded and also they are working. All the charts on inside this workspace are working. So they are using memory and CPU and also those may be executing orders if there is a strategy working there. So it is very important to have in mind that we should only have loaded workspace that we use. We can close any not used workspace by selecting close So now we have only one workspace working, which is this one with an oil crude oil contract. The workspace saves everything, all the windows with all the indicators, with all the settings, and also with the location on your monitor. And it also includes the strategies. If you have strategies, it, they are also included. On Ninja Trader 7, we can load another workspace. And if one of the windows is outside of the monitor there's no way to to recover the only way when you load the workspace that contains a window that is not visible to recover that window is let's say that this window is not visible so you can press alt space and this menu is not visible but you know that you can go to move by pressing the letter M and now you can use the arrows to move the chart which is on another monitor so you are not looking at that chart and then by moving the mouse you can bring, bring the, the window back to your, to your monitor so Again, if, if this is out of your site, you can find the chart by pressing Alt-Tab, select the window, and now you are selecting a window that is not visible, but you press Alt, Space, Move, one of the cursor keys, and then move your mouse, and there you have your, your window. The location of the workspace on both versions of Ninja, you go to My Documents, Ninja Trader 7, Workspace, and this is one of these XML files. The same on Ninja Trader 8, you go to Ninja Trader 8. Uh, and workspace.
and it is also one of those XML files. To find which is the one that you saved, you can sort by date and time, and this is the last one. If, if you want to share a setup that includes a indicator, if you want to share a configuration that includes a, a strategy, you, you must remember that the template don't include that. So the best solution is using a workspace. But if you want to, let's say that you have a strategy on this chart, and then you want to copy the same strategy on another chart. How, how can I add a strategy with the same settings to avoid typing all the settings on the on the other chart? So let, let's say that we use the ATR bar color and these are the default settings. Let, let's say that my settings are 1, 2, 3 and 4. How can I copy all this configuration into another chart without having to type everything again? You can right click and use the set default. And now, when you go to another chart, you add the strategy. And the default setting for that strategy will be the settings that you saved as default. I will restore the default settings for that strategy. So now if I add it again, now, now I have the correct settings. And this file can also be shared. And this is located in Ninja Trader 7 templates strategy and this file is the name of the strategy there is only one file per strategy because this is the default settings you don't have several templates for each strategy you have only the default settings but anyway you can copy the default settings to another computer or you can share with an, another friend and you place the, the file, you, you can sort by date. So now we have the settings that I have saved. And you can share this file, you place it on the correct folder, and now you have the default settings. This on, on NinjaTrader 8 has changed because now this is a chart on NinjaTrader 8. On Ninja Trader 8, when we add a strategy, now we have templates at the bottom. And we can save or load. And now we can select several templates for the same strategy. And this is new on Ninja Trader 8. We, we don't have only the default settings, we have a list of uh, several templates. And those templates are loaded, located on the folder, my documents, Ninja Trader 8, templates, strategy. You look for the strategy. Each strategy now has a folder. And inside the folder, you have the templates that you save it for that strategy.
Anyway, the best way to share a strategy with uh, another computer, the best option is to save a workspace. Now, if you want to copy the settings from one chart to another chart, then you can save a template. Okay, hope, hope this has been useful for you. And if you have any question, please post below this video. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.